What's up, my beautiful people? Kim Young Kim here, youth empowerment guru, rapper, and eater of elephants. I have a question for you. How do you eat an elephant? You eat an elephant by ganging up on it with a bunch of dudes with spears. You chase it into a pit that you've already dug for it, and then... Hold on, hold on. I think I'm talking about woolly mammoths, actually. Now, we no longer have to chase down big game because we are no longer hunter-gatherers all thanks to the Neolithic Revolution. Oh yeah, that's right, baby. The nerd in me is coming out. Now, how do you eat an elephant for real? You eat an elephant like this, one bite at a time. What does that have to do with you? Everything. Now, all of us have dreams, all of us have goals, and in order to get those goals, in order to get those dreams, you have to do things one bite at a time small increments at a time. Do things on a daily basis. Now you may have heard of a guy named Jerry Seinfeld. You know, the $800 million man, Mr. Jerry Seinfeld, as in Seinfeld, the TV show, the greatest show of all time, according to Nielsen ratings, and a little thing that ticks inside of my heart. Now Jerry Seinfeld put this idea into practice. Here's what he did. When he first started doing comedy, he took a calendar, ripped it all apart, all 12 months, and he put all 12 months up on the wall. And what he did is every single day he would spend time writing jokes. Every single day he would spend hours writing jokes, working on a couple jokes a day. And in 365 days, he kept this practice going. In 365 days, over many years, he eventually became the Jerry Seinfeld. Now, one thing I've learned from stand-up comedy is you have to put in work. Put in work. I, I remember talking to this one stand-up comedian, and he was like, yo, the first year that I started doing stand-up, I did never sit down. That joke sucks. I'm sorry. Anyhow, here's what he really said. He said, the first year that I did stand-up, I was up on stage. Out of 365 days, I was up on stage 300 days out of the year, which means in a seven-day week, he was up on stage six out of those seven days. Now, that may or may not mean anything to you, but here's how stand-up comedy works. When you're a beginner comedian, and even veteran comedians, you have to work out your material. So you go to open mics, and guess what? At open mics, you know how much time you have to wait just to get some stage time? Usually about two or three hours. And you wait two or three hours to get up on stage for five minutes. Now that five minute number is really important, and here's why. Because when you're a working stand-up comedian, when you're writing jokes full time, when you're up on stage on a daily basis, in a month's time, in an entire month, you come up with about five minutes of comedy. When I go to open mics, I hear comedians tell the same jokes I've heard them tell over and over again. Honestly, I could tell their whole routine. I've heard it so many times. Now, in a month, you come up with five minutes of comedy. And then, in 12 months, you come up with, guess what? 60 minutes of comedy. Now, the reason why stand-up comedians only come up with one-hour specials every year at most is because it takes them an entire year of hitting the stage to come up with that one-hour of comedy. Now, think about all the great stand-up comedians for a second, like Chris Rock. Jim Gaffigan, Brian Regan, Kevin Hart. How many full-length stand-up comedy specials have these guys made? Three, maybe four. And the reason why they've only made three or four stand-up comedy specials is because stand-up comedy is hard work. But because they implemented the idea of eating an elephant one bite at a time, one day at a time, one joke at a time, they eventually got their dreams. And the very same way they got their dreams, you can get your dreams too by putting in work on a daily basis, and eventually that work becoming something special. And so that's what I wanna leave y'all with. It's very important that you understand Rome was not built in a day. Your dreams will not be built in a day, but if you do the work, you will see the results. All right, y'all, so that's the end of my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you got something out of it, and I hope that you'll come back for future videos. And also, if you have any comments, if you have any questions, if you have any death threats, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Minus the death threats, of course. 
Don't tell me about how you're going to kill me. Tell me about how you're not going to kill me, okay? All right, peace out, y'all.